You don't know what I'm going to do yet. Just wait a minute. Turn up that heat! Woo! Oh, oh, you really melt my cheese. You really melt my cheese. Oh, sweet red Rosie. Sweet red Rosie. Quality porn. Turn up that heat! Woo! It's Sunday cookie time for my little cookie monster. My little Delvin is so handsome. He's been in the powder room for the past hour and a half plucking his eyebrows. I hope he's ready for some cookies. Delvin, I brought you some warm and gooey snickerdoodles you love so much. Ah! Bring up the hot sauce. I'm about to bring Oh, Delvin! Ah! Mom! Today at work, it was like trying to corral bobcats with dental floss. Hellish. I'm glad to be home. What's the problem? Need some uh, Pepto-Bismol? A plunger? Shit. I did not raise my son to feast his eyes on filth, filth, filth. Let thee who liveth without sin cast the first stone. You don't even have a grain of sand to flick anymore. So is that what you want? Not my warm, gooey snickerdoodles? Oh, hey dad, I'm working on my cooking skills in the bathroom. Unless you were looking on jarring some pickles, because all I think you were doing was paddling it. Paddling your pickle. Sweet Peter, Paul, and Mary, we've raised a pickle paddler. I'm going to have to ask you to prepare for exodus from this home. I shouldn't have named him Delvin. I should have just named him after Bob Greasy, Hall of Fame quarterback. This house's master is the Lord, not some masturbator. Because that's all that kid is. Greasy. And all he does is beat his dolphin. <laughs> Sweet Lord. the foot all in the back of your heart. Now he's stuck in this little white box, tossing something else, and it's far from athletic. Next Sunday, it's Sunday school. They'll say, Melinda Ann, would you care to read for the book of Palms? Oh, I'm sorry, Psalms. I forgot you're Delvin's mother. <laughs> Get your mind and skill out of the gutter. 
This is the only thing you'll see me doing with my right hand today. Cooking burritos. Ha 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 ha. The centerfold art I was used in there was from ZZ Top's classic, Trace Ombres from 1973. Trace Ombres meaning three men. Burrito means little donkey. Also known as the Mexican version of the Hot Pot. What's not to like about the burrito? It's basically a better version of a taco. It has more ingredients, and tacos are messy. I mean, when you eat tacos, you put an empty shell on your plate. And then when you get done with like your eighth taco, you look down at all the stuff on the empty taco shell and you go, hey, there's an extra ninth taco. Boy, delicioso. While my burrito isn't as food pornographic as the centerfold ZZ Top's Trace Hombres, it's no little donkey by any stretch of the imagination. It's not a donkey show either. Thank God. Ungly, ungly. And unlike that hedonistic, perverted spread that's on that picture, my burrito is healthier. It's got rice and beans primarily, low fat chicken breast, seasoned heavily. It's not too huge. You can microwave it. This is when I break out my go to heavyweight. Anything goes, iron skillet. Or if you have one, which makes it even easier, you can get one of these flat griddles. Their thinness makes it easier to scoop up your burritos. You can take it to work with you at the office, put it in the break room microwave, consume it, and feel like you're not gonna spend the next four hours in the bathroom. Bosses don't like that. Add one cup of rice to a pan, add some paprika, a little bit of chopped jalapeno, some old hot and spicy salsa from the refrigerator, and two cups of water. Bring it to a simmer for around 20 minutes. ZZ Top is wrapped up in mythology and lore. They love it. It's what made their career. They were quirky and weird, kind of demented, but really, really cool. I mean, they kind of fused boogie rock, southern rock. In some ways, they kind of foresaw like stoner rock. I mean, some of that. Beer drinkers. Bell raisers. Ha 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 ha. The ZZ Top centerfold for Trace Hombres was photographed in Leo's kitchen in Houston, Texas back in 1973, which was where Billy Gibbons, lead guitarist, used to hang out all the time. As Billy Gibbons tells it, they took a little 15 minute break to probably go have a beer or do something. And when they came back inside, the owner's German Shepherd had consumed the entire spread and almost died. Shoots over, that's a wrap. In the fine Texas tradition, Trace Elmos is like a thick smoked Texas brisket. Served up hot, moist, juicy. Believe it or not, Master of Sparks, a song on the album, is allegedly about Billy Gibbons being dragged behind a truck in a ball of steel with a like an airline pilot seat inside of the sphere and he dislodged from the truck at some point and took out like 100 yards of fence. After Billy was extricated from the sphere, he was named Master of Sparks. He was awarded a Masters for making sparks in the Texas night sky and almost killing himself in excessive property damage. Ha, 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 ha. LaGrange is about the chicken ranch, which is a whorehouse in Texas. ZZ Top was guitarist Billy Gibbons, bass player Frank Rube Beard, and drummer Dusty Hill, who's also a scratch golfer. Precious and Grace is about picking up two hitchhikers, one of which just got released from a Huntsville, Alabama prison. Both of them women, of course. 
Apparently Precious had a huge knife scar on her face and Grace was just gauche. I guess that means kind of whorish. Billy and Dusty were driving to Dallas to seek out a 1952 Stratocaster bass that Dusty played for two years. Apparently when they were driving back to Houston, they saw a couple pieces of tail on the side of the road. Decided to pick them up. Well, after several moments of yakking with these broads, they kind of propositioned them in to a little bit of sexual healing. And they went to a local makeout place called Put Out Road. Nothing like a woman with a nice night scar. I guess when they finally parked their 69 Pontiac Grand Prix, the mood sort of soured. Or a woman with a scar from the business end of a flying broken bottle in a bar fight. A man approached the flathead Ford with a shotgun and said, Persis, is that you? Apparently someone hit the gas pretty quickly and both those dames end up on their asses out in the middle of the Texas tundra. And the rest is history. When they got back to Houston, they immediately started working on the guts of the song with Frank Rube Beard, the bass player. None of the members got any action that fateful night. And of course, Frank Rube Beard was never in any position to get any action that night per every bass player on the face of the earth. Who have a can of dinner at supper time? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 When I do this at home, I do at least about three pounds of stuffing and then roll about 10 burritos. Just go on a 10 burrito roll fest. And then you wrap them in cellophane, take them to work. It's a safe for work burrito. Microwave style. So here it is. Safe for work burrito. Little donkey. <laughs>